ICM Foundation. This is your captain speaking. We hope to arrive at our destination, United Kingdom, at approximately 1806 GMT. Please strap on your seatbelts. One, two. One, two. Yeah, turn the music up in headphones, yeah? It's rats formidable Van Gogh still. Feel flavor. Feel flavor. I say it all the time because I truly care about the generation that's coming up. I think we've got to find intelligent ways to get around these problems. You know, I'm about promoting the homegrown talent, promoting Real the homegrown scene. People. Yeah, this is Rodney This is JPM, right? Yo, you're making me nervous with big old cameras. Every conceivable thing that we need to promote them in the game. That is the purpose of JPM. The same vision, same drive. If you look around you, gun crime that's going on doesn't happen in certain places. It stays in the inner cities. Cause that's where they want it to be. Certain areas where they've got money, you can't go up there. As soon as you drive in the piece of where you going, mate? You going know somewhere? Tell them your car, get the car, go My name's Carl Ramsey. JPM recordings. Learn about the business before you get into it. You get me? This is 90% business, 10% music. Cassidy, the problem. Doing it real big, straight in the UK. Dirty boy scheme from Sterling, Kalak. Miss Dynamite, big enough, baby. We're putting what we've got together to create an infrastructure and push new artists through. We've got budget now, James. Hey, actually, can we do that? So it's along the screen, on the screen right now. Mm. Look at that, it's coming up. Right there, modern technology. Now, let me tell you something. If I watch this back of my finger, it looks like it's pointing to air. It looks like it's someone. <laughs> JPM Recordings. Hiya, I'm LSG. About Abbreviation for Little Shady Giggles, a JPM representative. Now, let me get straight to the point. Because in this documentary, not only are you going to be exposed to the artists, but also people of the media, designers, comedians, radio and club DJs, record label owners, and many, many, many more. So, without further ado, we're going to be taking you behind the scenes of the UK music entertainment. <laughs> Sevens when I personally started releasing my own stuff on my own label. And the label was called Assassin Records. Uh, it was a jungle label, but the purpose of the label actually was to put out a tune, a jungle tune, because that was what was making the money at the time. The two I overstood the vibe that they was they was doing, the samples they were using, the whole vibe of the of the movement. Uh, we had them samples downstairs in my front room. Grew up on all that. You get me? That was standard for me. So. Uh, uh, overstood what they was trying to do. I put that out. The whole purpose was to try and get a return to start off the hip hop label. In the end, Assassin Ripples became its own entity, its own recognised drum and bass label. So we set up Bill Flavor Records in 2000 and that's kind of how I ended the game. Come on then, blab, let's have it. I've turned the whole place in a panic. I'm mother penny dance on a mic for my grab it. A ganja baby born with a cannabis habit. Key in life as a bitch, now I'm dying to stab it. True, I'm having everybody wanna ask what this rapping is, but don't ask me, blab. The simple fact is this I rap split, I rap fish and chips, I rap my fist round your lips. <laughs> Ransford Roy McCauley, who's better known as the Dark Disciple, Roy, good to see you. Good to see you here. Did they make the right decision? It's very oh, yes, I think, um, yes, that's very important because um, the use of the N-word in uh, mainstream yes. society is just, you know, from I mean, that point of view. I mean, from your business, um, you know, where yeah. does that word fit in at all, anywhere? For me, personally speaking, anyway, I don't think, you know, it should be used at all. I personally do not use it, although I do rap songs mm. which have been used in the past. So I do have these conversations with my rappers and try best as possible for them not to use it. But then they give me the other side of the argument, which is more on the lines of, well, if we're making street music and we would like to express it in a certain way, we cannot substitute that word and the argument still goes on. It's important for mainstream society to see that people who are in the media are actually doing something to not spread the acceptance of the word. Well, good to talk to you. Thank you for having me.